Welcome to Food Days, everyone. I really enjoyed the movie Chef. Every recipe you could see in that movie, you can name right off the bat. Roy Choi was the executive chef behind the scenes, teaching John Farrow how to do all the recipes in this movie. Much better than the movie Burnt, where Gordon Ramsay was the executive chef teaching Bradley Cooper how to make recipes. I'm going to recreate this iconic grilled cheese sandwich for you guys so you can enjoy and make this at home for your loved ones and family. Get ready. This is a journey. So from the intro, we're going to make the grilled cheese sandwich from the movie Chef and see is it worth it or is it a food daze. Basically, you're going to need some olive oil, good butter, sourdough bread. You're going to need four different types of cheeses. Now, what I found is he uses Gruyere, yellow cheddar, white cheddar, and Parmigiano Reggiano. The only difference that I'm gonna do from what he did is he sliced the Parmigiano Reggiano. I'm going to grate it with a microplane zester only because I found it melts a little easier because this stuff can sometimes take a minute to melt. So, lo and behold, let's hop to it. All right, so when it comes to cooking this specific grilled cheese, you literally are going to take your sweet time with this. You are not going to rush this one at all. So he puts a little bit of olive oil down in the pan. That way it helps the butter not to burn. And he goes ahead and moves it around. And you're gonna do the same thing with your second. You want a pan big enough for this. So we're gonna go ahead and add our cheese. So we're gonna add our Gruyere and our yellow cheddar. Well, actually, let's do yellow cheddar Gruyere. And then we're going to add our white cheddar and our Parmigiano Reggiano. It's all right if some of this gets in the pan, it's not going to hurt anything. Well, the messed up part is this is literally going to rock for like a good couple minutes. I mean, you do not rush this one at all and you let the cheese take its time. Let's adjust. Probably gonna speed through all this just because it takes so long. And now the flipping, the flipping, the flipping, the flipping. You are probably gonna flip this at least six or seven times. If you want the exact sandwich from the movie Chef, that is what you're gonna do. And yes, you are going to move this around multiple times. Oh yeah. I think we're perfect. Let's go ahead and pick her up, give her a slice through, and get those cross sections. All right, moment of truth. Oh yeah, look at that ooey gooey cheese pull. And that I'm going to leave right there because I want to take a beautiful screenshot of that. Oh, man. Just look at that. Oh, yeah. That's a cheese pool. Oh. I don't know if you guys could hear my crunch, but yeah. Mm. That's it. That's super good. Oh, it's just a lot of cheese. I actually made some tomato soup to go with this. I mean, look at that, folks. Is it worth it or is it food days? Definitely worth it. Can't go wrong with grilled cheese. 
especially with the cooler weather coming in. This and tomato soup is just good homemade comfort food. So I recommend go out and getting this sourdough, a little bit of butter, olive oil, yellow American, white American, Gruyere, and some Parmigiano Reggiano. One of the best grilled cheese sandwiches you'll ever have. Note, this was actually created by Roy Choi. He was the executive uh, chef in the movie Chef with John Favreau. And this is actually his recipe. And it is awesome. So shout out to Roy Choi. Thank you for this recipe. It's awesome. Everybody should try it. Go out and make it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. Comment, and we'll see you on the next food days. Don't get caught in the food days.